Yeah, I want to make a video on Victor Ortiz versus Alfonso Gomez. Victor Ortiz was set up to fight uh, Carlos Molina, but I guess the IBF felt that he didn't deserve the shot, which I agree. Kudos to them. Uh, let's see. Uh, a lot of people felt, I guess, that he was going to be able to beat Carlos Molina. I didn't feel that way, but a lot of people did. Um, and I think uh, it, it was probably set up. They felt they probably felt Ortiz could win that one, and I don't know. It was it's just a big name fight to make good money, but uh, obviously the IBF wasn't going for it. Um, Alfonso Gomez, uh, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. I know he fought Sean Porter recently, lost. Um, he lost to Canelo. That's the main the the big one that I remember the most. Uh, the last fight. Uh, Alfonso Gomez is from the Contender Show. Uh, the, where I, I really started to not like this guy is when he fought Arturo Gatti. I'm just an Arturo Gatti fan, so I'm a little biased, I guess. Um, Arturo Gatti was on the decline. He was at the end of his career, and he was a lot the smaller guy. He went in there to fight. To watch, I mean, it was just hard to watch, to watch him get destroyed by Alfonso Gomez man someone like Alfonso Gomez from a contender show it was it was hard to watch man I couldn't wait to see him get destroyed and that happened when he fought Cotto Cotto demolished him um he fought Soto I was going for Soto on that one that one and it, that was on the undercard of um Cotto versus Manny Pacquiao um that one got stopped by I think a cut um it was uh he, the thing about Alfonso Gomez man is I really never go for this guy I never do man I'm always going against him but uh he does have all around boxing skills um he's a decent boxer he's he's uh pretty good he's a B-level boxer um He's fought a lot of big names and lost to a lot of big names. Um, he beat, well, he beat Gaddy. I mean, but, you know, I mean, Gaddy had Ward as his trainer in that fight. I mean, he was on the downfall. He was old. He was smaller. I mean, hey, we okay, let's just get past that anyway, man. Um, let's see. Um, Ortiz, man, he's he's been on a long... Um, recess there he hasn't been fighting um layoff or whatever you want to call it his last fight i think he quit to uh, Cecito lopez before that he 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 went crazy on mayweather tried to headbutt mayweather in the mouth um before that he he lost to madonna he quit I mean, he's been, he's had a, he was very promising, man. He was the, the big thing. I remember when, um, he, 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 he was tra training with, uh, De La Hoya. He gave De La Hoya a black eye before De La Hoya fought Pacquiao. Um, he was supposed to be the next big thing. And then he fought Madonna and Madonna made him fold, man. Um, he was doing good. He, I mean, he could dish it out. He just couldn't take it. He knocked Madonna down a couple of times. Madonna knocked him down a couple of times and he quit. Um, he went, he's, he like lost it during Mayweather. I mean, he wasn't even trying to hide that illegal head blow. He basically just tried to ram him in front of everybody. He wasn't even trying to be sneaky about it or anything. Um, he, he was in the face off with, uh, Jose Cito Lopez. He was grabbing him by the neck. He was trying to be Mayweather and like Mayweather did him. He was trying to do it to Jose Cito Lopez, uh, Jose Cito Lopez broke his jaw and he quit. We've seen boxers go on fighting with broken jaws. Uh, we've seen a lot of them quit with broken jaws. It, it depends on the fighter, but Ortiz is not new to quitting. So, I don't know, man. Um, the The easy bet would be to go with Ortiz to win this one. He's the bigger. I mean, they're basically they're the same size, but he's the the stronger puncher, the faster guy. Um, if this is at junior middleweight, though, we never seen Ortiz at junior middleweight. Um, he obviously has issues. Uh, he quits in fights. Um, 
he does a lot of weird things. I mean, he's he's not all there uh, when he comes in the boxing ring, I guess. Um, as long as they don't talk about his family, man, I hope they don't talk about him in Kansas and in his dad and every all that shit left him and his mom left him and all that shit and I hope they don't talk about that stuff. But anyway, um he's uh the easy bet would to be go with him, but I'm not gonna go with him in this one. I refuse to pick someone who quits to win a fight. Um if you think Ortiz is gonna win, leave a comment that you think he was gonna win, but I think he'll he'll get hit with something lucky. I think uh, Gomez will land something lucky. I think Gomez will be able to take his punches. I don't think I think Ortiz hits hard, but I don't think he hits as hard as um, uh, Cotto did back in the day. And I don't think he hits as hard as uh, Canelo does. I think uh, he'll, I think Gomez will be able to take those punches, and I think o Gomez will be able to uh, box him a little bit. Uh, use a little ring generalship, uh, outbox him a little bit, give him a lot of problems. I think he'll get frustrated and do something. Ortiz might do something dumb, or he or he might get hit with a lucky punch and quit. Um, I think this ends with uh, Ortiz losing. I I don't want to. I I make I I find it hard to say Alfonso Gomez to win, so I'm just gonna say Ortiz loses this one.